now talk to Blamus Marad. Can do. Let's get the wheels on this last bit of this game a going. Well, does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Hey, you. I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, hey, Loy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for Shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Okay, so basically, what they said was, hey... Um, make sure you do your stuff. <laughs> That's basically what it says. It's like, hey, yeah, you know, make sure you do your side missions just as a heads up. Um, I guess we're going to go visit some defense posts and then we're going to sleep. Actually, if they're just optional, why do we even care? Let's do it. Let's just go to sleep and we'll fight. We'll, uh, we'll go into the final battle then. This is it, my friends. This is it. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. I'd like to figure out where I'm actually going. This game does not do a very good job of kind of like directing you. Okay, is it in here then? Another attack on the city? Must be. What did we do to deserve this? Or not? Where is it? Okay, that's as far as I can get into it then. An army. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. I had now okay well I'm say I'm glad we're not doing any side missions I don't know how to get to this dude's apartment apparently Owen's apartment feels empty should I sleep did I leave anything unfinished yeah we left a lot of stuff unfinished rest for the battle no way back <laughs> okay I guess we're doing this how could you sleep Elizabeth with a weight like this pressing on you How did you rust after you lost your family? 
Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. Ma'am, there are signs from the west. Sun King of Odd awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Campfires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not wet smoke. And what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. you spoke of to the guns to the guns now by the sun do what she says <laughs> set loaded all of you be ready to fire will the guns hold them back Oh snap, here we go. Should have fought me in the sun ring then. This bridge Ow. will go. Ow. He's quick. I, uh, so I fell off somewhere. 
Shoot, I was going pretty good against him, too. Well, crap. <laughs> I don't think he killed us. I just... Apparently, I lost a spot on the ground there. Farewell, fools. You have fixed it long enough. Should have fought me in a sun ring then. Oh, we beat him. We lit him on fire. Chosen. This was not meant to be. None of this was meant to be. I hope this hurts. I don't have time for this. None of this was meant to be heedless. You made it happen. Followed your orders, butchered so many, and for what? To die on your knees, used like a pawn by a power you don't even understand. You will pity me? Turn your face to the Not expecting that. All right. Not too much already. Do I? Oh, pfft. wrong thing. I feel like it's probably just good practice to go around and. Just search everybody. Okay, well that's gone. Oh yeah, that thing. Helios wasn't that bad. I have a feeling this whole Hades thing is going to be this will last. Awful. <laughs> And that's how the world ends. Oops. <laughs> Could you imagine that's just how the world ends? Where's Aloy? We need her help. Anyway, she went to jump and just completely missed that whole aspect of the journey. Cool. Uh, I feel like that's a good guy, actually. 
Look, here's this thing. Where do you need me? Take up a cannon on the platform. I hate these things, man. These are the worst. we doing right now? It's in the ridge. We are up to level 33 now. We gotta kill these things. So those things are obnoxious. I remember them. It's taking a shot at me. Say, man, it kind of sucks. We have to kind of actually take our time to focus on these idiots coming side over here. I prefer if you just ignored me, man. Personally. Those things suck. We had to fight one of these without a nice gun and from a distance either. We had to fight one of them stupid things up close. Is it really? So how do you get more than guns? Shoot, I'm up, I'm up. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. These things have unlimited ammo. Okay, so this is unlimited ammo, which is pretty nice. Oh no! This is pretty intense. This is cool. Like I'm I'm really enjoying this.
Nope. Pick it up! This bird is honestly making this way harder than it should be. Man, this is hard. Guys. Oh, we beat it. Holy crap. Oh man, there's way more coming. Killed. The others, are they? No, no, wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Teb. I've got to go. Ah, oh, boy. Um, follow the trail of destruction. We have five skills. Let's use some of them, shall we? <laughs> for one, I'm a fan of scavenging. Um, for two, sure. My god, that was relentless, though.
Yeah, when in doubt, let's just have the flame arrow out. See what I did there. So how many of these freaking things are gonna have to fight? <laughs> This is gonna suck. There's no way they're giving us all this crap without it <laughs> gonna suck. Like this is not gonna be fun at all. Okay. The plant is the stuff I'm really trying to harvest the most of. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Okay, fun. This is, yeah, this is gonna be a true treat. It must have gotten through the defenses. I am just not even remotely looking forward to this. How nice would it be if all you have to do is just climb up it? You know? Like, if there wasn't, like, a, some big boss battle up there, it's just, you know, you just climb up it, and then that's the end of it. Oh, that'd be so nice. I know that's not going to happen, but it would be so nice. Oh, you. Aloy! It's Aloy! Well, you... You can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. My fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. The metal devil must fall. I like your guys' enthusiasm. We're all gonna die, but I like your enthusiasm. All right, I don't know about you, but I am stocked. Let's do it. Let's do it to it, man. Oh, I guess we gotta climb down here. 
Anyway, let's do it. Oh, this is gonna suck. Arrival of Entity has been anticipated. Entity will not halt transmission. To contrary, calculations are precise. Presence of Entity has been accounted for. Remember what I said about not being fun? Yeah, I stand by that statement. Tenfold. Yep, this sucks. What on earth? going to die.
them on the way. Don't let them overrun us. Oh, this is ridiculous, man. This sucks. Knew I could count on you. You can't rely on us around steel. That's it. My way's clear. It's down. Time to do what you came for, Ayla. Is it? Because I'm pretty sure I gotta deal with these dudes first. Stop him, he's gonna kill me. Get ready for this. We got them. We are life okay. takers and machine breakers all. Now where do I go? <clears throat> Store the Hades machine with the override. Gladly. System threat imminent. I am more than a threat. Purge him. Let's do this. Whew, man, that was crazy intense. Master Override armed to activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Purging extinction protocol.
How funny would it be if all the uh Okay, Gaia. Uh sorry about that. All the machine all oh, the Where machines are still alive, seriously. You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so um like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire. And uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query, you were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God. So she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care. And that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query, what did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something, to serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. Guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious. And willful, unstoppable, even. But with enough compassion to heal the world. Just a little bit. That's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. All right, I guess we're going to the credits. So I was wondering if there'd be any kind of like little like, what the world afterward is like. I guess there's still robots running around. But with Hades being dead, you think they'd be a dying breed, right? Until someone tries to bring him back to life, I guess. Which is maybe what this ominous credit scene is all about. Anyway, guys, that has been Horizon Zero Dawn. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It has been a very long run on my channel, not only um, for the length it took me to finally finish the game, but also the amount of videos. This got up into the 60s, um, which is, at this point, probably not unusual. <laughs> because it seems like a lot of the games I've been grabbing here recently have, have been getting up there. But, uh, that's been Horizon Zero Dawn. Pretty good game, not incredibly great, not the greatest game I've ever played, but not bad either. It's, um, somewhere in the middle ground of like a seven-ish, seven and a half-ish. Um, it's definitely been fun to play and get to the end. Some things were definitely frustrating for me on the aspects. Uh, for one, this game felt like Far Cry Primal exactly. The only difference that really felt different in the entire game was the um, fact that there was like dinos, and not really dinosaurs, but like uh, robotic and oh, by the way, where'd ever happen to that big giant T-Rex thing that's on the cover of this? I, I feel like you would have fought that at some point. Did we run, even run across one in the wild? Like, that's just something I've always kind of been like, what ever happened to that thing? But, uh, yeah, this game wasn't bad. One thing I love about it, and I've loved throughout the whole series, throughout the, I mean, the whole series, the whole time playing this was the soundtrack. I thought the soundtrack to this game was incredible. I really, really, really loved the soundtrack to this game. Graphics were pretty great. Um, 
The main antagonist alloy, I'm not, I didn't care much for personally. She was kind of annoying, <laughs> the way she kind of acted at some points. But uh, for the most part, it's not bad. I liked the tribes that were around. The overall concept of the story, I enjoyed as well. The, there's the, like oh, on the aspects of the story, the presentation, stuff like that. Even the world design's not bad um, in a sense. The thing that really irritated me about this entire game. And it still irritated me up to the end. The missions were fine, everything like that. The biggest irritant to this game, constantly, was the amount of enemies. There was robots every five steps you took. Hordes of them. And you're not super equipped to fight with like a horde of them, so you, what you kind of have to do is sneak around the world. And that becomes irritating after a while. Or you just keep running past them and hope you outrun them. And like, yeah, I get it, the, wild, the ones out in the wild were weaker. Um, in a sense, so they were kind of easier to kill off, but especially toward the beginning of the game and stuff, it was really a hassle to kind of deal with these robots. And even as you get leveled up and get more advanced, they're still a hassle. They're a chore. And that was like the big thing that really kind of made me kind of go, eh, about the game was for the fact that the enemies weren't fun to fight at all. They were just a chore. They were, the humans, fine. Sure, yeah. The humans weren't bad to fight, but the the uh, robots were just, like I said, a chore. They were so obnoxious and annoying to deal with. And like I said, I just got kind of fed up with it personally. I was just kind of like, ah, it's just irritating, you know? You know what I mean? It just got to the point to where it was just so frustrating to deal with. And um, yeah, I mean, like I said, that was a big thing. Another big thing was the climbing to this game was very frustrating because it kind of had this auto jump if you moved it in the right way. I would prefer just full manual control over it. And sometimes she didn't want to let go of ledges. But uh, that was another little small irritant of mine. The rest of the game was fine. The gameplay itself was fine. The combat wasn't bad. The um, bow and arrow gameplay was fine. Um, you know, the skill trees weren't bad. It was kind of your typical RPG open worldy kind of thing the the thing like I said to me the two big things that really hold this game back for me and the main thing being just the abundance of enemies like I said it feel like you couldn't go anywhere in this world without being just on you know right on top of a big monster that you didn't want to have to deal with you know and it's, it's like Far Cry Primal yeah it had a lot of animals and enemies throughout the world but they were manageable but also they weren't right on top of you every five seconds. Like this game, it was like literally, you could stand at one point and look to the north, south, east, and west, and there would be a group of animals, machines, that wanted to rip your throat out. And it just became obnoxious. Like I said, when, you know, I, I keep wanting to describe, the, like, compare this game to Far Cry Primal because not only did every bit of the gameplay aspect was pretty much copy and pasted from it, but a lot of the design and uh, a lot of the, the feel of the overall game being tribalistic and things like that really felt like Far Cry Primal. So it's it's easy for me to compare them because, like I said, Far Cry Primal was a little bit less obnoxious when it came to the amount of enemies. Sure, there was moments in Far Cry Primal where you're like, oh, I don't want to go deal with them or mess with them. But the main, the main ones that were like that were the mammoths, which were completely avoidable. You could just not have to deal with them at all. The rhinos were really obnoxious too, though. I remember that. But like I said, they were only in certain areas you didn't have to deal with. It was like every five seconds there was a big robot that would mess you up. And it was just kind of like, I don't want to waste all my supplies dealing with this dude. I'd rather just kind of go on my way. And that I think is a big downfall. I think if they would have just scattered the enemies a little bit more and not make them so right on top of each other, the game would have been a lot more enjoyable and felt like less of a chore to get from point A to point B. Um, that being said, like I said, that was a big downfall. I thought the story was pretty interesting outside of, like I said, Aloy being kind of annoying at points. Um, the story I thought was pretty good. The, um, like I said, the gameplay was fun when he didn't, you know, when it wasn't frustrating we had to deal with giant crap that was way stronger than you but yeah, I thought the story was really interesting and this is one of those movies that would make for a really interesting movie you know, there's there's a lot of people want to make video game movies out of certain video games and it's like, that doesn't work 
certain games have good movie aspects, and this is one of them. Like, you could totally make... They would screw it up somehow, don't get me wrong, but you could totally make a good movie out of this. You know, the story is there and rich, and, you know, an anime spinoff would be cool as well with this. Um, because, like, the world itself is cool. Like, the Aloy, like I said, was kind of obnoxious at points, but annoying, I guess, more or less. It's like, I wouldn't want to hang out with her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she'd get my nerves just spending time with her, but for the most part, everything else was pretty cool. I... Is this going to be the whole credit sequence, or can I... Okay, so I can't really do anything to maneuver this. This is just how the whole credit sequence is going to be. But, yeah, so that is Horizon Zero Dawn. Going to trade this in. By the time this is uploaded, Star Wars Battlefront 2 will already, already be going out on my channel. Um, which I'm, not, I'm pretty well kind of not as excited for as I originally was because of all the negative stuff I've been hearing about it. That the basically it's set up to where you have to do microtransactions, which is which I won't do at all, which is pretty annoying. On top of that, mixed with um, I've heard some it's not a very good campaign. I've heard you know I've heard a lot of bad stuff already about Battlefront 2, and that kind of makes me sad. Um, I'm still planning on getting it if I can, because um, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Like I said, I like the first Battlefront, so. Well, the, the newest remake Battlefront. I like the original two, too, for the PS2. I played them quite a bit, too. So, um, just kind of one of them things. There's other games I would love to cover. Like, if I if I had the money right now, I would be covering uh, Wolfenstein, South Park, Call of Duty. Who knows if this would even be finished right now. I might have put this on the back burner. Um, Call of Duty World War II. There's a lot of games I'd really like to kind of sink down on and get my grubby little fingers around and play for you guys and um some amazing cosplayers and fan artists we love you that's nice um you know there's a, a lot of that stuff i'd really like to get my hands on and play for you guys and to cover for you guys but financially it's just not an option right now uh the reason why i'm going with battlefront 2 is because i'm going to trade in some games to get it and on top of that i plan on um, trading the games to get it and then on top of that it's a game that I know me and my cousin will play a lot online together uh, like we did the first Battlefront it will give me a lot of content for my channel or channel with having an online and a multiplayer uh, so yeah so there's that thank you for playing no thank you like I said I'm kind of waiting for something ominous to happen Oh, okay, so it's just regular credits. Yeah, we'll skip the regular. Oh, the Frozen Wilds. I don't even have that. Oh, cool. There is like a little hangout, a cliffhanger cutscene thing. for example, the ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. What a douche. Seriously, silence? You're the worst, man. You're the worst. As far as I'm concerned, we're done with the game. <laughs> And this bad boy will be going to Wally World. I actually trade my games into Walmart, and it's because I get more store credit than I would GameStop if I trade into Walmart. So, we'll trade these into Walmart. And then, uh, like I said, hopefully get Battlefront 2. Hopefully get that uploaded for you guys. Oh, I dropped my Gatorade. 
uh, starting Monday, which, like I said, it will be up. I know for a fact it'll be uploaded before this. I have like 12 episodes of this to upload before this, so, <laughs> so I don't even know why I'm even talking about that. But yeah, so hope you guys will look forward to more content on my channel. I'm trying to keep steady uploads. Uh, I'm just gonna have to probably dip into some either free to play games or some backlog stuff that I uh, want to recorded for want to record for you guys for Mega Upload Saturday. Ended the war machine threat. So we will see. We shall see what the future will hold. After this, I'm planning on finishing Uncharted, so I can turn in that as well. As I burp. And no, oh, I won't remember to cut that. You ever just sit there and it just kind of naturally happens? Congratulations, you feeded Hades on protecting Gaia's dream of the Earth Reborn. The state of the world has been restored to just before the looming shadow prior to the final battle of Meridian. You keep all loot and experience from your successful playthrough. Additionally, a new game plus has been unlocked, granting all option to play the game again from the beginning with all loot and skills you have accumulated throughout this playthrough. A new game plus loadout of your current inventory and skills have been created. To play this new game mode, simply choose the new game option in the main menu. You can also create loadouts via the pause menu in the game. Thank you for playing the Horizon team. Okay. So that being said, it wants us to yeah, it wants us to just jump right back into killing Hades again. <laughs> no, thank you. I will use this though. Um, I don't know what Maybe that's a good one to upload. I don't upgrade. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, feel free to press that thumbs up button and subscribe. And honestly, you know what? Before we leave, I don't feel right leaving without being back to all mother. So let's go home before we leave, shall we? Just to leave where we started. You know what I mean? That feels right to me. I forgot how long these load screens are. I should have just ended the series there. Should have just ended it there. You know, you can cut out the load screens. If I have to sit through them, you have to sit through them. <laughs> At least that's what I think. Maybe, if it loads. Yes, no, maybe so. Right on, right on, right on. So, yes. That has been Horizon Zero Dawn. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, you know what to do. Press that thumbs up button and subscribe. This place is still burnt to a crisp. Until next time, guys, take it easy. This has been our Horizon Zero Dawn. Peace.